helps to go natural. Sometimes, honestly, it can taste a little bit weird, especially since um, the people of today were used to the strong taste of the processed and junk food. But honestly, it really does help us get our body going and get us healthy for the entire day. Usually, two weeks before we have tournaments, I have to go on a no sweets diet, as in no soda, no candy, no fast foods for two weeks. But it usually pays off because whenever I have soft drinks or candy before training, I get really nauseated and really dizzy and I just want to throw up. I remember there was this one time we were going to have a tournament in about three days and my friend treated us all to ice cream and I wasn't allowed and then she was just wagging it in front of my face, licking it, showing it off. And I, it was torture for me because I really do have a sweet tooth. But it comes to the territory of an athlete that we must be disciplined and we must realize that we have to take care of our bodies so that we can perform well and be well. I'm glad that at DPS, we have options for healthy meals and healthy lifestyle is emphasized. We have Meatless Monday. Like what we learned in school, we help decrease global warming and are able to benefit from the nutrients of other food. We also have Zumba Tuesday, where we do energizing dances that raise our energy for the rest of the day. And Walk on Wednesday, we all know that walking helps our bodies in, ev in many ways. Thankful Thursday is simply a nurturing, a healthy attitude for our spirit and conscience, and we have much, much more to offer. I know I reap the benefits, not just today, but also in the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Amber Acosta, and, of course, to our friends from the Diliman Preparatory School. You guys are great, and, of course, uh, this cause that you're starting... Well, hopefully all the schools in uh, Metro Manila will be adapting all those uh, programs that you've been starting for a healthy lifestyle. And, of course, this is the Tabak Congress 2013 for Fit Philippines. So right now, we're having our lunch break right here. We'll be having another speaker later on at 1 p.m. So more surprises coming your way and more inspiring talk in just a while. Thank you very much to our presenter, Contours Advanced Face and Body Sculpting Institute Corporation. Our sponsors, uh, Hairless, Venustas, Dye Doctor, Hint Style Company, HerWord.com, Bocati Sweat, Tessaruma, Spa and Salon, Reebok, Today's Water, Del Monte Fit and Right, Happy Gum Tech, Magnolia Pure Water, Waters Philippines, Therm Plus, Moisturizing Sunblock, Everyday Sun and UV Protection, Gel Beauty, Nyogi Pure Coconut Water, Health Express, Pasqual Consumer Healthcare Corporation, Mega Blue, Jadora, Edmark Foot Appeal, Foot Skin Healing Mask, Candy Colors, I Love My Sisters, Dentiste, FlexiPack Services Philippines, Walter Bread, Healthy is Now Delicious, and Magnolia Beverages, and also Pantacel. And of course, our uh, media partners, Bicio, U2 TV, Lacho Inquirer, DZMM, 105.1, Crossover, Chinoy TV, UN TV, Business Mirror, Malaya, Business World, Action TV, Gala Magazine, and Buy and Sell Magazine. Let's talk about stem cells, not sperm cells, huh? stem cells. It's nice that uh, we were passing through people who are specialists in diabetes. I've been doing so many stem cell cases with diabetes, and the biggest problem is 90% are not on medicines anymore. And that is sad sad for the pharmaceutical industry. So uh, for those who would like to know what I do, 
I'm the doctor that removes pain with nothing in seconds. I'm the one that aborts a migraine in one second with nothing. Low back pain easily in 60 seconds. No medicines. So this is And for working abroad, going to the war, the Gulf War, I do Salamat Doc, and I do the pain-free workplace. Now this presentation is dedicated to this woman, Barbara Starfield, very popular actually during her time. She died because of medicines. She died because of aspirin and clopidogrel or plastic. If you're 35 years old and you're taking aspirin and plastic, 10% of those who take medicines will die. If you are 85 years old and above, 12% will die because of the medicine. Medicine that's supposed to prolong your life. Okay, now what's the sad thing about this? She was the one who exposed the deficiencies in medical care in America. And the sad thing is, she's the author of this publication. Very popular. You know that I will very, very rarely. The way we doctors, we do sickness business. We maintain your sickness so there is a business. It's like lawyering. Lawyering, patagalan ng case because that's where the money is. I've been a hospital director for 24 years and uh, we do maximum harm to your pocket because the equipment we get the ROI, the return of investment, has to be quite short because the technology is very fast. So if you have an MRI, you cannot make a 10-year <laughs> ROI on that. You have to do it in less than a year, como puede. Anyway, here we go. Of course, not the hypocrite's oath, but the Hippocratic oath. At first, do no harm. At second and third, do some harm. Is that the rule? Anyway, Sir William Osler, the father of modern medicine, he is the founder of Johns, one of the founding fathers of Johns Hopkins. And of course, the originator of residency, yung mga specialists. So siya ang nauna dyan. Now, very popular, Osler's Nodes, Osler's Triad, Osler's Syndrome. He's a Canadian doctor who went to America, eventually ended up in Britain. And so popular that they called him the father of modern medicine. And what did he tell us, doctors? A lot of people did not understand what he's talking about. But this guy, Oliver Wendell Holmes, he was the one who originated the word anesthesia. And this is what he said. If all the medicines are thrown in the ocean, it will be better for mankind. But it will be bad for the fishes, plural, kasi maraming species. By the way, this is happening today. Because all the medicines you take, pumupunta yan sa kubeta, yung mga pills, antibiotics, pupunta yan sa drainage system, papuntang Pasig River, Pasig River going to Manila Bay. And this is one of the bigger problems that we face. So, when we were young, if you remember, 
we look very nice, very smooth, very chubby face. And of course, we notice that 